Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I received some awesome happy mail. Um, this came in two different packages, but it is all from the same individual. I did not get permission beforehand uh, if I could say her name or not, so I'm, I'm not going to. But I received these four books and they're called Le Pen Fleck. It says there is flexible rubberized brush tip, quick drying, smear resistant, vivid colors. Look at these colors. Look at them pretty pastels. So let's open them up. I want to, oh, I suppose this has to come off in order for that to work, huh? Yeah. And then it, you can stand it up like this. Let's look at these. I think they're so pretty. Very nicely made. So they have a rather skinny barrel. They have this little clip on. Oh my gosh. Look at that fine tip. Wow. Ooh, I would love a whole big set of these. <laughs> get some scratch paper here oh my gosh so these are water based let me zoom you in a little I just wanted to try them out <laughs> oh that is pretty so we have the pastel pink there are let's see can't see yeah no names or numbers Ooh, like a coral color. Ooh, that's pretty too. Looks like we have kind of like a gold. Oh my gosh, these color awesome. We have a green on oh, aqua. Oh, I gotta look and see if these come in a big set. <laughs> we have a light blue. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. And then I saved the best for last. We have a lilac. Oh, is that pretty? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they are very flexible tips. I could see uh, people using these for like bullet journaling and scrapbooking and stuff. Oh, they are so pretty. Oh. I love them. Let me zoom back out. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay. Well, I'll get them back in the case later. Let's go on to the books. So, she sent me these two. Let's zoom out a little more. I'm still in kind of close. And then two geometric pattern book so let's look at these first she knows me <laughs> they look like they're by the same company it just says adult coloring books stress relieving designs geometric pattern some samples on the back I don't know it's Amazon paper. Okay, so no name. Let's get the rest of these out of the way. Let's just take a, a quick look-see at the books. Oh, so these are nice, simple, easy patterns. Oh, these are always so much fun. Look at the nice, big, thick, black lines. Perfect for alcohol markers. And also, <laughs> my, what are they called? La pens. La pens. So you now with the finer lines, those would work better, right? Oh, I could also see my gel pens in here, though. Oh, love it. Love it. So we'll just quickly look through the pattern book. Oh, 
I have actually not bought any pattern books in quite a while. One can never have too many though, right? But oh, I like that. Looks like Rubik's Cubes. You have to use all primary colors on that. So boy, this is a nice book. When you have these big, large designs like this, you want to just do something really quick and simple and just get some nice, pretty colors down on the paper. All right, so there is that one. And then the other one is this. Okay, so this is volume three. This must be volume one, I'm assuming then. So there must be a number of them out there. We could see that in a rainbow color, right? <laughs> Here's a finer detailed one. Oh, I love patterns like this. <laughs> Oh yes, this book is going to be great fun. Right up my alley. That's different. Oh, sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> we have had dump trucks and you name it going past her every five minutes. I don't know where they're dumping all this fill, but geez. Must be up the street somewhere. Oh that's cool. That's different. Ooh, that's pretty. Some of these uh, I've seen in other pattern books, and some of these I haven't, like these type, I haven't seen before. All right. It has Zine back here. So, again, not sure of the, the company name now. All right. So then, let's go on to this one. It is a Dover coloring book by Marty Noble. I love Marty Noble. This one is called Goddesses. So the front cover, the back cover. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at those colors. It says 30 original drawings offer dynamic interpretations of female deities from cultures around the world. Portraits range from the well-known Greek and Roman goddesses to legendary figures from Celtic, Norse, Egyptian, Mayan, Incan, African, Native American, and Asian cultures. Brief captions identify each goddess. So let's look. The only downfall to Dover is, of course, they are double-sided. So... So here it talks about each goddess. Here is the Celtic moon goddess. Mythology's loving protector of horses, donkeys, and mules. Freya represents love, beauty, and fertility, as well as war and death. Oh my gosh, isn't that both ends of the spectrum? <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, the keeper of the golden apples. Goddess of youth and springtime. The wife of the all-powerful god Odin. The highest female deity. So this is Frigg. Bastet, so this is Egyptian. Protection of domestic cats. Mm. Isis, representative of ideal femininity. 
She's the patron of all women, mothers, and children. Don't know how to pronounce that. M A apostrophe A T Mat. Jichun goddess of moral law. Pomona, Roman goddess of abundance and agriculture. I love it when she has like the frames around it. This is Venus, associated with love, beauty, and vineyards. Diana, Roman hunting goddess. Ooh, that's pretty. Aphrodite, Greek goddess of love, desire, beauty, and fertility. Hmm. She has a magic girdle with the power to make any man she looks upon immediately fall in love with her. Her son is the god of love, Cupid. We've all heard of Aphrodite, right? <laughs> Eos, Greek goddess of the dawn. Athena, Greek goddess of civilized life, war, artisans, and wisdom. Gaia, Greek goddess of earth. Oh, isn't that cute? And I really don't know how to pronounce that one. I-X space C-H-E-L. Mayan goddess is responsible for sending rain to nourish the land and is the protector of mothers and children. Ooh. She has a dark side, though. She can bring floods to the land if she is unhappy. So keep her happy. <laughs> Paka Mama, Incan goddess of the earth. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's another one. I am not going to try to pronounce, and I'm not even going to go through and spell it. <laughs> Aztec goddess of water and protector of newborn babies and fishermen. Inanna, hmm. although a goddess of love, Sumerian Inanna is wandering and restless. She causes chaos for those who disobey her and thus is often associated with war or disaster. We don't want to see her. <laughs> White Buffalo Woman, Native American tribes Lakota and Sioux, considered the mother of life. Ashen, West African goddess of love and fresh water. There's more down here than what I'm reading, of course. But I am butchering these names, I know. And some of you probably know the goddesses and <laughs> M-A-W-U, West African goddess, creator of the earth and all things on it. She gives life and can take it away. Another one, not going to even attempt. Fertility goddess of the Zulu region of Africa. Oh, that's pretty. Buddhist goddess of compassion, Wan Yin, can manifest in practically any form to help the victims of natural disasters or of violence. Definitely need her around, don't we? Oh, so pretty. Don't know. <laughs> Is a Chinese goddess of immortality and femininity. There are a lot of pictures in here. Um, uh, Terasu, oh boy, Japanese sun goddess, allows people to see their beauty and potential. Here's another Japanese goddess, guardian of flowers and trees. Oh, that's gorgeous too. Wow. Said to preside over Mount Fuji, preventing it from erupting. And you stay right there. Then. <laughs> Here we have a Hindu goddess of art, music, learning, and wisdom. Uh, 
Hindu goddess of wealth. Represents all forms of prosperity. And finally, Tibetan goddess Tara is a dual personality represented by the colors white and green. So I guess you kind of know what colors you're going to be uh, putting in that picture, right? Here you can get free coloring pages, clip art, puzzles, and more. You can sign up for the Dover Sampler. Doverpublications.com backslash sign up sampler. All right. So again, that one is Goddesses by Marty Noble. Very pretty. And this next one, I was going to be purchasing myself, and now I don't have to. Christine Karen came out with a Fairy and Fantasy 3. I do have the first two, so yeah, definitely wanted to add this one. Um, it is a grayscale coloring book, so look at this beautiful front cover. The back cover that has little thumbnails of all of the images in here. And there are 25 illustrations. Let's look at the pretties. Her books are just so gorgeous. This came out in July, so last month. Our nameplate page. Oh, she cute. This talks about the book. They were all originally created and traditionally hand-drawn by artist Christine Karen. And then she always gives names to all of the pages. So here we have Happy Fairy. <laughs> And this is on, it's it's got like a shiny quality to it. I believe it is still, yeah, it is still Amazon paper, but it's a different type. It's very smooth. And here we have the fairy dust. Don't you like their cute big eyes? <laughs> Fairies with fox baby. Oh. Flora. Oh, that is gorgeous. Love it. Fairy flower bouquet. Look at the hair. Wow. Frog prints. <laughs> he says, pucker up, baby. <laughs> Queen of the Seven Seas. Ooh, she looks sassy. <laughs> Astral Fae. Look at all the pretties you could do in those wings. Mm. I see glitter coming on that picture. Aw, fairy besties. That is so cute. Star Catcher. Spring Awakening. Oh, gorgeous. I just love how she draws people. Dreamy Fae. <laughs> dream Weaver. Wasn't that pretty? With the dream catcher. Fae Darling. Oh, so cute. A lot of curls. <laughs> Pearls of life. Again, look at these gorgeous eyes. Message in the bottle. So here we have a mermaid. Flourish Fay. Fairy flower crown. Oh, <laughs> spring wind. Sleeping beauty. Oh, adorable. 
Oh, we even have a little mousy sleeping down here. <laughs> Helping hands. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the kitty cleaning itself. <laughs> Apron full of little chickies. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, orchid dream. Wow. I mean, couldn't you just see just doing this with plain alcohol markers, you know, with the highlights that are built into it? It would look beautiful. Just straight coloring it with markers. Joys of summer. Yes. <laughs> Tarot, is it tarot? The tarot, no, the tarot cards. Tarot reader. Bonded. Oh, that's another really pretty one. And there you have it. Here are all of her other books. And uh, most of them are available in both line art and grayscale. So if you are looking for one or the other, Make sure you pay attention to which version it is. I have all of the grayscale versions. And then like her Benny Blue. Oh, those are so adorable. Yes. All right. Here's all of her social media information. Facebook. She does have a Facebook coloring group. Instagram, YouTube, and an Etsy shop where you can download the PDFs. Okay, and then we do have a couple sheets, blank sheets at the back to test your mediums or create some color palettes. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love it. I love all of them. <laughs> so thank you so, so much to the individual who sent me all of this. I was so shocked. <laughs> And uh, it came on a, on a really good day, or I should say they came on a really good day. It was, I was just having a bad day. So definitely brightened my mood. And seeing as how tomorrow is my birthday, of course, I don't know when for sure this is going up on the channel, but Saturday, <laughs> um, the 21st is my birthday. So I just kind of consider these a birthday present too. So thank you so, so much again to the individual who sent me all of this. I so appreciate it. Um, you guys are never, ever, of course, required to send me anything. Um, just having you watch my videos and comment and like, share, you know, it, it just all means the world to me. This is just an added bonus. So, yeah, so, so nice. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you en enjoyed seeing my goodies. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.